Welcome back to part four of the Diecast Emporium Diecast Masters large unboxing. This is the final box and thus the final models in this shipment. Again, while I have a little time here, um, and especially since her first day back was Monday, I do want to thank everyone again for all of their support uh, during the hard time that my family incurred earlier with my mother's medical issues, numerous medical issues to be exact. Just want to say I appreciate it. Thank you guys again for everything. Um, there's a few of you in particular who came through big and was there just as a friend. So I uh, really appreciate that. So with that said, let's continue on. So our first model is 85132, core classics piece. I don't remember off the top of my head what this is. Okay, this is the CAT CB534DXW Vibratory Asphalt Compactor. So perhaps that could be a fun game to play with your friends when you are severely inebriated. Um, that is one lengthy name for a machine. Now I know that there has been many... Picture of the machine on the back and specification details. I know that there's been many a talks among the online forums and in the Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube community about Caterpillar's decision to put the operator in the cab of each of their newer scale models. I have to say out of all of them, I think this is probably the best, only because if you are doing a paving scene, it would look rather off, and it has looked rather off without somebody behind the wheel of an open ROPS machine. So, long story short, well played by Diecast Masters and Caterpillar. I think that they look great together. So if we zoom in, you can see the very legible graphics. Again, trying to hold this up to the screen here. Get my big paw out of the way momentarily. But yeah, CB534D XW, very legible, great range of articulation on this machine. It is a tandem drum asphalt compactor, so you wouldn't see this smushing down dirt. This, of course, is an asphalt machine. Some good vents here and your exhaust here. Now the question remains, did they enable the operator to move around? On some of the other um, compactor and roller models made by other manufacturers, they have made the operator swivel. So he can look to one side or look to the other side. Now just because I don't want to break this, I'm not going to force it too much, but if I had to place money on it, it doesn't seem like um, they have kept that feature. But anyway, still looks good nonetheless. So there is the roller. Let's go ahead and get the stuff out of the way here. And we'll move on to the next one. And as always, guys, please feel free if you have a question or, you know, if you guys are in the market for a particular type of model and you're kind of going back and forth on this one versus this one or uh, this model A versus this model B, you can always shoot me a comment um, and I will do my best to provide you the best advice that I can. Next piece out of the box... We return to the Highline series. This is the 85296. So this was one of the, <coughs> excuse me, this was one of the um, models that Norscott had made one of the last Norscott models made. That's what I've been trying to say. Uh, they made two versions of this. They made this one, which is the rock configuration, and they also made a material handling configuration. Basically, the only difference is the bucket and the wheels. This is the rock configuration, so it will have a more aggressive tread pattern, and it will have teeth on the bucket. There you go. Here's what the top of the tin looks like. Great picture. Very, very good picture, actually. 
Again, that is the Norscott version. And on the back, another picture with your specification details. So the 980K is a pretty big loader, and it's the 980 in one iteration or another has been around for quite a while. So let's see what Diecast Masters has done to improve it. Well, I can tell you I already see one thing, two things. Okay, so apologize guys, I'm working with a very limited space here. Um, they have painted the engine uh, ventiles which look awesome. Right here is your warning decal. No hoses across the pivot point, but the range of articulation is actually better than it was on the Norscout one. If you look up on top, they've added a beacon or a light. That was non-existent on the Norscout one. And of course, you got your Mr. Hardworking Construction Worker in the operator's compartment. Very good range of height and dumping. That's good. Also, if I remember correctly, the Norscout one did it pretty well, so I would presume this would do it just as well, if not better. Um, there is your cut angle, although the bucket doesn't want to be in that position. Um, but yeah, the cylinders are quite stiff. But, again, with repeated use, that will free up a little bit. Your back looks pretty good. That's what the um, Norscout one looked like. They have added some silver to the mirrors, which you can see up towards the top of your picture. But unfortunately, all these small hand and grab rails remain in thin plastic. So there is the CAT 980K wheel loader in rock configuration. Let's get him out of here and keep going with the show. Next model. Eight five zero seven three. Another core classics piece. This is the CAT 725 articulated dump truck, again, a former Norscott piece. However, when this was first released in 02, it had the... Uh, sorry, I'm looking for one thing in particular real quick. It had the uh, power stripe instead of the power edge. The power edge, of course, is the updated livery for Caterpillar. So this model has been in the lineup for quite some time. But as with these core classics, they are so much easier to get out of the box. But the trade-off is you don't get that high-quality presentation style tin. That is the extent of the dump height, which is well and truly good enough. Cylinder jackets are plastic, and even on my crappy camera, you can tell that they are still significantly off-color from the Caterpillar yellow and the metal parts. The mud flaps in front of the rear wheels remain a part of the metal casting and just painted. And the hand and grab rails are flimsy plastic. The articulation point, considering this is articulated dump, uh, considering this is an articulated dump truck, excuse me, I would have expected more, but it's good enough, I guess. And on the front, besides our little operator. Not much else has changed. So that's the 725. So we're going to do one more model and then take a break, just so we can get all this stuff cleaned up. And uh, we'll come back in height 4, as soon as all this crap gets out of here. And I do one more for you. All right.
last mile. Eight five one four zero. Again, core classics. Now this wasn't popular even when um, it was out as a Norscott model, but this is the Caterpillar R1700G LHD underground mining loader. Not hard to figure out what this machine does. There's a picture of it at work and your specs. Quickly take a look at this one. Again, not a very popular model, but if you are a fan of the unusual models, um, this also comes with a dump truck that it would pair with. Um, so if you like unusual models, then this is definitely right up your alley for sure. But there it is. You can see just how squished down it is, how small it is, so we can get into those hard areas inside of, um, well, underground mines. <laughs> it's in the name. The bucket movement, very good. The height is better. What's really hard to see, but very cool, is the wheels have that smooth finish. There are no treads. They almost look like racing slicks, if you know what those are. On the back, you have your R1700G logo. To the rear of the machine, some nice lights, grill, and the cat logo. Implemented quite well. But where this model scores really high, other than uniqueness, is its articulation. You can see just how well it will articulate. The range is very, very good. Now, if I lay this out to one side, you can see on the mud flap, Caterpillar engraved, which looks really, really cool, and that's a nice little touch. All right, guys, so we're going to come back with the next spot. Thank you again for staying with me, and we'll be right back with the next part. Take care.